Glory 14 stiže u Hrvatsku metropolu. Mirko Krokap Filipović protiv Remija Bonjaskog. Trostruki K1 šampion u dugo iščekivanom revanšu protiv Hrvatske legende. Neviđeni borilački spektakl Glory 14 Zagreb 8. ožujka. Ulaznica u sustavu Eventim. Velika vijeza sve ljubitelje borilačkih sportova. Najprestižnija svjetska kickboks promocija Glory stiže u Hrvatsku metropolu. It's a big privilege to be on the list, on the same page with all these cities what uh, Glory put on, on their schedule. I, uh, I mean, you have all these nations like uh, Tokyo, uh, Los Angeles, uh, New York, uh, London, and if Zagreb is in the, on the same page with these uh, uh, beautiful cities, I think it's a, it's a big privilege. Glory 14 Zagreb će u subotu 8. ožujka u Zagrebačkoj areni predvoditi dvije borilačke legende. Mirko Krokap Filipović i Remi Flying Gentleman Bonjaski. Zvijezde i organizatori velikog eventa okupili su se na presici u Zagrebačkom hotelu Hilton. Mirko Filipović i Remi Bonjaski su bez sumnje ikone kickboksa. U svojim kolekcijama imaju čak četiri K1 VGP pojasa, te se obojca smatraju jednima od najboljih boraca u povijesti sporta. Njihov susret u areni slobodno se može opisati kao sudar giganta. How exciting is to be fighting in Croatia, in Zagreb? It's really exciting. I mean, I've been here a couple of times and the people are treating me right. Uh, they love, the fans love me. So it's very exciting to, to fight with, uh, with, with Mirko, even though he's a friend of mine. But in the fight we're going to show uh, a lot of spectacular hits and kicks. But Zagreb, I love Zagreb. Well, this is my first uh, time fighting for Glory. Glory is right now the biggest kickboxing organization. It's a great honor and uh, fighting against Remy Bunyaski and uh, true champion of the sport is a great thing too. And uh, I'm excited, especially I'm fighting in my hometown and uh, it will be a great night for me. Remy Bunyaski is the winner of K1 Grand Prix, and he has been in the Japanese ring. Dug je popis boraca koji su iz ringa s letećim gospodinom otišli poraženi, no Krokap nije na njemu. Meč Filipović-Bonjaski održao se prije 12 godina, a slavio je tehničkim nokautom u drugoj rundi naš Krokap. Every fight is the greatest challenge, you know, for a true fighter, every fight is the great, greatest challenge. Fighting with a uh, three-time K1 champion is uh, definitely one of the biggest challenges in my career. Especially we are having a rematch now. I won the first one and, uh, of course, I hope I will win the second one, And uh, but let's wait March 8th and see what will happen. Well, uh, 12 years ago, I was happy to fight in, in Japan, in K1. I didn't know who Kro Krokov was, but he was one of the big stars at that moment. And I lost that fight because I was in the beginning of my career. But now I'm at the end of my career and now we can put up uh, a good show, I think, because we have now a lot of experience, both are, and we have all the good techniques, so I think it will be exciting to fight. Are you ready for revenge? <laughs> I'm ready for revenge because even if you do a fight, you never want to lose. I'm a, I'm a sportsman, I'm a fighter, and I want to win every fight. So I'm going to do my very best to win for me. Krokap na presici je istaknuo kako bi mu bilo draže da se na eventu u Zagrebu bori protiv nekog drugog borca. No isključivo zbog činjenice što mu je Remi postao prijatelj, koliko se to može postati u uvjetima povremenih susreta koje diktira dinamika treninga i borbi. No toga neće spriječiti da da sve od sebe. When the fight starts, there will be, no, there will be that nine minutes we won't be friends anymore and I wouldn't be a friend with my own brother. If we enter the ring, I will do my best to hurt him, I will do my best to beat him. Uh, the same, the same, Remy is the same, you know, he's mentally very, very strong and uh, he's true professional, he's true champion, he will do the same. And maybe I believe that if I hit Mirko, that may be a lesson for him to keep his hands up, but the same thing he will do with me, if I keep my hands down, uh, I will get a, a hit from him. So. Um, it's like uh, teaching a, a kid uh, that he, he has not to uh, take candy from a box. You, you give him a beat down and next time he will not do it again. But it's still your kid. So during the fight we will, we will try to beat up each other. And like I said, after the fight we'll drink something. Susret u areni Remiju će biti 96. profesionalni meč. 38-godišnji nizozemac požalio se kako ga novinari neprestano ispituju o prestanku karijere. 
you know, uh, I'm, I'm, no, I don't because the, the fighting sport is very exciting. The, the attention, the, the the rush that you get uh, when you step into the ring, and the fans, the people love me every day. I get a, hundreds of emails that they want to see me in the ring. Even if I win or lose, they want to see me in the ring. So uh, it's hard to say no to the fighting sport. Filipović će tom, kao što je istaknuo, biti debiju u gloriju nakon prošlogodišnjeg osvajanja K1 World Grand Prix, čime zaokružio sjajnu epizodu od povratka u kickbox vode. Naime, Krokup borio se i u MMA-u, te istaknuo razlike između te dvije discipline i priprema za borbe unutar njih. Kickboxing je true fighting sport. Only all the time we are exchanging punches and kicking, no clinching and... Sometimes it, it, it is much more tougher than MMA itself. MMA requires a lot of uh, wrestling, fighting on the ground. From that point of view, MMA is uh, harder, you know, but uh, kickboxing is much more dynamic, so it, it takes a lot of, lot of energy uh, for uh, kicking, for punching. Uh, basically, both, both of them are hard to train. Nepobitna je činjenica kako je u Sjedinjenim američkim državama trenutno MMA puno popularniji od kickboksinga. I think with glory the chances are here to make kickboxing a very big sport. Uh, the people in the states they love MMA but they also love uh, uh, glory in kickboxing. And you can see it in the uh, TV coverage they it's very professional. The people are, uh, are watching uh, kickboxing now a lot more, so and there's a lot of knockouts. So I think watching it, uh, uh, watching it, uh, kickboxing will give you more knockouts than in MMA. So we're gonna get big. U Zagrebu će nastupiti još dva Hrvata: Igor Istjan Warrior Jurković i Mladen Brestovac. Porečki udarač je već neko vrijeme pod Glorijevim ugovorom, te će u Zagrebu tražiti povratak nakon poraza na priredbi u New Yorku. U areni će se boriti protiv nizozemca Majkala Duta. Protivnik Dut ti je počeo nešto prijetiti? Pa dobro, to su standardne prijetnje prije same borbe, da se malo čeličimo, ali isto tako ja mislim za njega da će on past kao što on misli za mene, tako da to su... To je ništa novo, ali ja što stisi njega mora biti oprezan. On kreće prve sekunde snažno na boks, tako da se mora više kretati, više se bazirati na tehniku rada nogu i na sljedeću uspje se laviti. Za mladina prestupca arena će značiti i debiju u gloriju. Ovo je za zagrebačkog gorosta sa bez sumnje prilika karijere koju ne smije propustiti. Zaslužio sam ovu priliku, nadam se da će dobro je ispast, da će prilika na kraju završiti kao najbolji uspjeh i to je ukratko to. Jesi li počeo sanjati Žafara? Pa eto, baš da ga sanjam nisam baš toliko uzbuđen, možda poslije meča, ako loše prođe, ali pa nije da ga sanjam, jednostavno pristupam kao i svakom drugom meču, ništa on nije sad u puno bolji protivnik od mojih drugih prijašnjih mečeva. Sigurno je možda za nijansu bolji, ali jednostavno ne smiješ to uzimati previše srcu. Pripremaš se kao i za svaki drugi meč i to je to. Dola za Glorija u Zagreb je veliko priznanje Hrvatskoj kao prepoznatoj borilačkoj velesili. Ali i Faj Channelu koji se u dvije godine postojanja promovirao kao jedan od najpoznatijih svjetskih televizijskih borilačkih brendova. Da podsjetimo, karte za veliki borilački event su u prodaji. Event izaziva ogroman interes jer vas već poznanici povlače za rukav. Pa je, naravno, to je koji obično. Svi bi gledali svjetski event, ali da se ako može podijeli na 15.000 karata, što naravno nije moguće. Ali ja mislim, s druge strane, se stvarno pobrinuli da dobijemo svjetski event u Zagrebu, da dovedemo vrhnosku, ono svjetsku kremu borilačkog sporta. I iskreno mislim da 90 kuna, koliko su početne karte, imate 90, 120, 150, 200 da imate ono 200 kuna za vrhunsko mjesto, to stvarno nije puno novaca. Do you know anything about Zagreb? About Zagreb fans? Yeah, yeah, the Zagreb fans. Yeah, they're very, but it's good. That's good. They showed that they are very enthusiastic and they are fun to be with and they love me, so I love them. I malo nabrijavanja za kraj. They can expect war. 
Yes. There will be a war between me and Remy, and uh, we'll do our best, and I'm definitely sure it is going to be the fight of the night. Hi, I'm Remy Bunyaski, three times K1 champion. I'll be fighting the 8th of March here in Zagreb. I want to see you there, 8th of March. Glory 14 stiže u Hrvatsku metropolu. Mirko Krokap Filipović protiv Remija Bonjaskog. Trostruki K1 šampion u dugo iščekivanom revanšu protiv hrvatske legende. Neviđeni borilački spektakl Glory 14 Zagreb 8. ožujka. Ulaznica u sustavu Eventim.